Hello there you beautiful people, and welcome to this video where we're going to get you set up and running with Python on your wonderful Windows machine. Now if you aren't running Windows, but are running Mac or Linux instead, then feel free to skip this video and head over to the installation video that's appropriate for you. But if you are running Windows, in this video I'm going to walk you through the installation step by step, and by the end of this lecture you'll have Python 3 fully installed and ready to go on your machine. So let's do this. Right, so first of all, fire up your favourite browser, mine's going to be Google Chrome, and head over to www.python.org forward slash downloads. And when you hit enter, you should see a page like this that pops up. Now you can see here that we have two options available to us. The Python website gives us the option to install Python 2 or Python 3. Now for this course, because we're all modern and updated, we're going to be using Python 3. So go ahead and click on that button to start the download. Now at the time of this recording, version 3.5.2 is the modern version of Python 3, but if you have a more updated version, don't worry, everything will work just fine, so go ahead and download whichever version is appropriate for Python 3. Just wait for that download to finish, and then launch the installer like you normally would for any other program by double clicking on it. When you launch the installer, you'll see a window like this pop up. Now the first thing I want you to do before you do anything else is to click this checkbox that says add Python 3.5 to path. Boom. Alright, once that's checked, I want you to click this customize installation button. We're going to go hardcore you guys. Now you'll see that we have some default options already checked for us in here. Don't worry about these for now, just go ahead and click on the next button at the bottom. Now once you're on a screen that looks like this, I want you to make sure you check the button that says Install Python for all users. The reason that we're doing this is because it makes the install location for Python much easier to deal with later. Once you've checked that, you can see that the install path that's shown in this box changes to be much nicer. Once that's all done, click the install button. You'll have to say yes when the pop-up arrives to ask for your permission, and once you do, the install will begin. Just wait for the installation process co to complete, should take around 30 seconds or so, and you should be all set up to use Python on your Windows machine. Congratulations, that was easy, right? Now just as a quick check, I want you to open up something called the command prompt. Go to the start menu and type cmd, and run the program that comes up. Next when you're in there, type python, all in lowercase, and press enter on your keyboard. Some text like this should pop up, which means python is installed. Congratulations! Go ahead and close the command prompt window. So by this point, if all has gone well, you should now have Python successfully installed and set up on your Windows machine. Well done! In the next lecture, we're going to jump right in and discover an incredibly important tool that comes with Python called Idle. Many, many congratulations once again, and I'll see you in the next video.